Hey guys, here I am again, Lungala Rubadiri, a.k.a. Lunga, with another story for you. And uh, this time it's about, you know, you know how on a given day you might get up with a certain mission, you have just one main thing to accomplish for the day, and then on your way there you get sidetracked a little bit. Okay, so my mission for the day was to go get a radio, a cassette player for the car. So, you know, this was back in the day a new radio for my friend's car. I had borrowed her car for about two weeks while my car was in the shop having some repairs done. And um, I was on my way to this chain store called Circuit City where you buy all the radios, all the TVs and stuff. But I thought, oh, let me detour to the barber shop first, get a haircut, get the radio fitted in and then return the car nice and clean. So on this day, I mean, the barber shop wasn't too busy. I could just jump in and out. And what I love about barber shops is you go in there and there's just this wealth of information. First of all, it's, you know, the sports teams, who's doing what, who's winning, who's, you know, and it's, it's every topic, every topic, legal stuff, uh, who, who's, which doctor in the neighborhood you should go and visit, stuff like that. And this uh, barbershop wasn't in my neighborhood, but a friend from school had sent me there, you know, and told me to get in touch with Dave, who became my, my barber. Dave has since left and gone to another state, but great guy, Dave. So anyway, as uh, Dave is giving me this uh, quick haircut, uh, he's like, hey, Gala, Gala. That was my short name for Lungala. Hey, Gala, Gala, what you doing today? So I said, um, no school today, and so what I'm doing is I'm, getting a radio for my friend's car and then i um, going to return it to her and just hang out. So I was like, oh, where are you getting a radio from? So I said, from Circuit City. Uh, Circuit City, of course, was the big store where you got all radios and TVs and everything. And he said, you going to Circuit City to get a radio? I said, yeah, isn't that the place? He said, man, you don't know Spanky? I said, Spank is that another shop? He said, no, 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 no. Spanky, who come in here all the time for a haircut? I said, oh, no, I don't know who that is. Oh, Spanky, he's a hookup, man. He has this place, they, 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 they get all these wrecked cars, and they dismantle, take all the parts out, so you can get a radio from him. Instead of paying 300 in Circuit City, you pay him 100 bucks. You got a good radio, man. So I was like, wow, okay, fine. You, you mean with all the addition, the radio, the cassette, the, man, radio, radio, whatever it is, radio is going to be good. You're going to have all the connections, whatever you need. So I said, oh, okay, fine. Then um, when, how do I get in touch with Spanky? Say, no, he's coming in today. He'll be here in about an hour and a half. So I said, oh, then let me, let me, after you finish the cut, I'll go grab a bite and come back and talk to Spanky. How about that? So he's like, yeah, cool. So I grab a bite, um, come back, and Spanky's there, and Dave's like, hey, 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 Gal needs to talk to you. So I was like, you're Spanky? He's like, yeah, yeah. So I said, um, I need to get a radio for my friend's car. Yeah, we got that. We got everything. You know, it's like this. If a car has it, we have it. If the car doesn't have it, it means we took it out, but we going to sell it. You know, you know what I'm saying? We got everything. So I said, what time does your store open? Oh, our store open all the time, bro. All the time. You just need to go ring the bell. We're going to open up for you. So I said, oh, okay. So where is it? Oh, I'm going to give you directions. I'm going to give you directions. So I quickly go and get a, a pen. You know, no GPS that time. I get a pen and piece of paper and I was like, okay, what you going to do? Go down the freeway, exit 15. So I said, exit 15. Okay, then you hang left. I said, hang left. Then, is there a name on, on, on the street? Man, bro, just hang left, hang left. You don't need to write like, hang, just put L, 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 just L. So I was like, oh, okay, L. And then, um, uh, what do I do after that? Okay, then you go and hang another left. Like half block, hang another left. It's a major street too. I said, what's the name? Oh, man, you don't have no name. Just hang left. You're going to see it, man. Then hang right after that. Right is a big street. You're going to hang right. And then you make another left. So I'm like, okay. Um, and what street is it on? When when you get a spader, you hang left, and it's three, three gates down the street. It's a big old fence. It's a brick wall, actually, and a black fence. 
So you get you gotta just call, um, ring the doorbell. Somebody gonna come and help you. So I said, oh, okay, fine. And Dave was really, you know, he was like, Gala, you can't miss it, man. Just just go get it. So I said, okay, fine. So I drive down there. Actually, the directions <laughs> pretty easy to find. You know, I was freaking out about write, writing so much on the paper. And um, anyway, um, I get to the place and there's the big black gate. And I go and ring the bell. It's a very quiet area. It's kind of like a, a neighborhood. Uh, you know, I thought it would be like a commercial area, but it, more like a neighborhood houses and then all of a sudden this brick wall so I, I i i go up to the gate and literally it's it's like you can see nothing over the gate it's like this this is how it is and i ring the the, the bell and then i wait a few minutes and you can hear somebody walking on the other side of the the gate and um, it's, 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 so I, I wait and there's this latch it's not even it's kind of below eye level, maybe at chest level, so you have to bend down to look through it. And all of a sudden, opens the latch. And I'm just waiting. And then this is what you see. I say, hi, is this Panky's place? What you want? I said, hi. Is this Spanky's place? Spanky sent me here. Who? I said Spanky. Spanky sent me here. What you want? I said, I want a radio. He said I could come here and get a radio from you guys. I need it fitted in my car. Is that your car? I said, yeah, the one against the curb right there, that's my car. Huh? So the gate closes, or the latch closes rather, and I'm like, okay, fine, he's probably gonna open up. So I start heading out um, to the to the car, and I'm about to pull the car in, but then I'm like, wait a minute, that gate is not opening. So I walk back to the gate, ring the bell again, and once again, same old thing. This gate is that, jeez. So I ring the bell and wait. I hear the same footsteps, and once again. I said, hey, hey, bro, bro, I, I need to get a radio spanky from the barber shop. I saw him in there. He told me to come out here. Who? I said, spanky, spanky. Isn't this spanky's place? Yeah. I said, well, he told me I could come here for radio. What you want? What you want? I said, a radio for my car. Is that your car? Is that your car right there? I said, yeah. Huh. And there it was. The gate was closed again. The latch. I was like, okay, there's something going on here. I, I, let me just leave. Go back to the barber shop. I get to the barber shop and Dave and all, yo, yo, man, you got the hookup? I said, is Spanky? Oh, Spanky left already? They're like, man. Spanky just rolled out. What's going on? I said, man, I, I didn't get a radio. They're like, what's up with that? I said, I parked my car, you know, right there. Why didn't you just drive in? I said, they didn't even open the gate for me. There's a, there's a latch on the gate. There's this guy who's like, what you want? And well, why didn't you tell him what you want? I said, I told him I want a radio and Spanky sent me. But no, 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 no. I just parked, just like I parked here in front of the barber shop. I was just right there. And then Dave and all like, man, Gala, that red car, that GTI, that's what you took over there? I said, yeah, that's my friend's car. Man, I thought you had a gray Beamer. I said, the Beamer is mine. This is my friend's. I, I'm, I told you I was getting a radio for my friend's car. Man, the whole barbershop were like, man, damn, damn, you took that red car over there. Oh, man, that's some cold. Oh, it's a cold day in L.A. Man, that's some gang territory. You don't drive red. You don't drive blue. You had no, nobody go in that neighborhood with a red car. Oh, it means you are the winners or you against us. That's what you're trying to say. Oh, man. Even Rebel, who is this really quiet barber, he got involved. Hey, Gala, what's going on now? What these guys mess you up with this time? I said, I took that car to Spanky's to get a radio. 
like Gala, man. Listen up. Don't listen to these fools over here, man. Don't do like that. I mean, you too, you too, you too, you too disciplined for this stuff, man. What were you trying to do, man? I said, I said, I was trying to get myself a radio. And you guys, I mean, I would have just gone straight to Circuit City. That's right, Rebel said. That's right. Circuit City, the place for you, man. Don't be messing with these people, man. Get yourself a radio from Circuit City. So I was like, man. And then Rebel said, hey, Gala, I seen you drive. The reason you're still alive, you, you drive up straight. They must have been looking at you wondering who the heck come in here drive up straight, sitting up straight, driving through here in that red car. Because if it were me, you know, I'd drive like this. I'm laid back. I'm laid all the way back. Got my music. I'm laid back, man. I'm laid. And, I, and uh, they would just, I, I wouldn't be here right now, man. Driving that car, man, get yourself. And, and you tell your friend, man, they like, tell your friend, man, these black. There's white, there's silver, man, why red car, man, buy pink, tell her buy pink, man, you're sorry people, man. So at that point, I was like, okay, guys, you know what, thank you so much. I should have just gone to Circuit City in the first place, you know, and what I learned is if you're trying to get from home to get yourself a radio, and there's some guy called Spanky in between, don't mess with Spanky. Just go straight to that radio. Get your radio and move on. Don't mess with Spanky or you might just get spanked. All right? Take care, my friends. God bless you. Another story coming soon.